Hey everyone, I wanted to make this video to just to walk through the syllabus uh, for the semester. The syllabus is probably the most important document for this or any of your other classes uh, that you have. It outlines everything that you're going to need to know, all of the assignments, all of the uh, outcomes you can expect to get from the class, the course schedule, all the resources you're going to need uh, are all meant to be put in there. Um, of course, if something is unclear or if something uh, you can't find something in the syllabus, do let me know and we can clear that up. Uh, but I do try to design these things so that you have all of the resources at your disposal. So what I'll do is I'll just walk through the syllabus. I'll show you where to find it. Um, and we'll talk, walk through and talk about some of the basics of the syllabus. So you can see here that we're on the the uh, course web page, the, the, the first page in the course web page. Um, and you can see the content browser. So I'm just going to navigate via the start here uh, uh, tab over to the syllabus. Um, and we can pull up the syllabus that way. Um, and so once you pull up the syllabus, you're able to then see um, all of the information that you're going to need. So again, this is a. So I'm just going to walk through the sil the the basics of the syllabus now. Um, you can see again, this is a fully online class. Um, so we're going to be um, working and engaging with one another through the D2L web page. Um, I do have an office on campus, but I have uh, very little plans of being there. So I'm not going to be there uh, hardly any because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic that, that we're living through. Um, I'm only going to meet with students uh, virtually. And so I'm going to have regular office hours. They're just going to be virtual office hours. And, and you'll get more information about that as well. Um, so you can see here all of the basics of how to contact me again because this is an online class especially uh, contacting me through my email is going to be the best way uh, to do that. So let's take a uh, scroll on down you can get a basic feel for the course just by reading over uh, sort of how I lay out the course and talk about it. Um, what are you going to get out of the course? Let's think about some of those learning objectives. Um, what can you walk away with this course with? Now, I've, got, I've listed out four different ones. At the core of all of them really is for you to develop your sociological imagination. We'll talk more about what that sociological imagination is. Uh, but really, I want you just to get uh, uh, to develop your understanding of how the social world around us affects and impacts our, our daily lives. So that's really the core thing you want to walk away with this class having and the thing that we're going to spend all of our time focused on um, so that by the end of the semester, you have developed your own sociological imagination and you can see how those social forces outside of us affect our lives. Uh, you can see we have, again, this online textbook, so you're not going to have to go to the store and buy a textbook. Um, we have an online uh, textbook that we're going to be using called Sociology Experiment. I have put the, the, uh, uh, the URL right there, so you can click on it there. You also see in the Start Here page that I've got the, the, a link to the textbook there. You'll also note that for every single uh, module, I've got the readings listed, including a link to the, the uh, readings for the Sociology Experiment. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and register now for that uh, uh, for that website. Once you've registered um, as a student, you'll have the capacity to then uh, uh, purchase for one dollar per chapter the chapters that you're going to need. So you can purchase them all at once that you're going to need or you can purchase them as you go. Do not buy all of the chapters. This is critical. Do not buy all of the chapters. We're not going to use, use them all. Um, we're only going to use a few of them. Um, so make sure you know uh, what chapters we're going to actually need for the course. And you can see that in the course schedule. Now, every course has its own rhythm, its own flow, its own structure to it. Now, you're probably used to in your face-to-face -face courses having the kind of structure that is uh, you do some reading on your own on Monday, come to class on Tuesday, um, uh, and do things in class on Tuesday, then go home on Wednesday and do readings again for the next class that's going to happen on Thursday. The, the online format provides us uh, the opportunity to engage a little bit differently than that. So the way that I've structured the class um, is that every week you're going to do your readings and watch some videos on Monday. And if that bleeds over in a little bit into Tuesday, that's okay as well. But on Tuesday, we're going to start our conversations. Uh, you're all organized into discussion groups, so you're going to be working with and talking about 
these ideas with the same people over the course of the semester and build some kind of social solidarity, get to know one another, or at least a small set of your class that way. Uh, so um, beginning on Thursday, uh, we're going to start our having our conversations. Almost every week we're going to have some form of an online discussion, and most of those discussions will be uh, within your group. The basic idea here is that I've posed a question for that uh, for the week uh, uh, on the discussion forum, and you should go in and have conversations about that, just like you would if I were to break you apart into groups within within class. So what I expect you to do is, uh, when you show up to the discussion board, uh, for you to be ready, have watched the videos, read the material, and be ready to answer the question. If no one has provided an answer in your group yet, go ahead and provide your answer. And then what others in the class are going to or in your group are going to do um, is then respond to your to your answer of that question. Uh, push you to go deeper, uh, think about it in new ways, uh, and maybe critique or challenge the ideas. Right? If you show up and someone's already answered the question, that then is your job to push those ideas to go deeper. Um, we'll do that on most of the day Wednesday and then on Thursday. And then on Friday, you'll have almost every week you're going to have a quiz, either a learning quiz or an assessment quiz. And I'll come to what those differences are in a few minutes. Um, so then on Friday, you're going to spend your time sort of wrapping up the conversation, uh, any loose ends from that, and then, then taking your quiz uh, for the week. All right, so what are you going to be doing? What kind of activities can you expect? I do expect engagement and class participation. That's going to be a lot of that is going to be about uh, working in your discussion groups uh, for the week. Um, you can go online and see uh, I've already got online participation instructions, but that's going to be 20% of your grade, so you don't want to slack off on that. You want to stay engaged with the material as we go. I've also created something called the Salon. This is not a place to go and get your hair cut. Uh, this is a reference to the salons of, of the French Enlightenment, uh, where basically intellectuals would come together and have conversations about important matters of the day. So that's what you're going to do in the salon. It's a, discuss it's a discussion board, um, a discussion forum on the discussion board, and uh, you're going to have to do that twice during the course of the semester, once for the fir and during, the, during the first and second unit and another during the third unit. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to, to go out into the world around you, um, just sort of be observant in your daily life. That's really what I'm asking of you. Uh, be observant in your daily life and see where these course ideas and concepts are relevant. Where do you see them? Uh, on a Facebook post uh, or a meme that you come across, um, a, a tweet that someone puts out. Uh, anything is really fair game. You're going to share it on this salon and explain in a couple of sentences how it uh, relates to the course materials and then you have free reign to just talk with others about the the things that that you guys are all sharing and that's what we want to get out of the salon have that kind of intellectual engagement you're going to have uh, uh, two types of quizzes over the course of the semester learning quizzes and assessment quizzes for the learning quizzes these are basically um, uh, quizzes that you can take over and over and over. They're short. They're going to be two to five questions at most about specific ideas in the, for that particular week that you've read and we've talked about. Right? It's going to make sure. It's going to come kind of act as a check to make sure that you understand and know what you do know and what you don't know. You can take them as many times as you like, and I will take the highest grade that is recorded for that. Uh, this doesn't mean you should just randomly select answers until you get a 100. Use this as a learning tool. That's what I've designed it for. Use it as a learning tool to help you know what it is you know and what you what it is that you need to learn more about. Um, and then we're going to have a set of assessment quizzes as well um, that will happen three times over the course of the semester. Um, these are ways for you to show me that you've been really gaining some knowledge and understanding of the course material. Um, you can see uh, that they are cumulative, and that means that I'm going to uh, grade them. Uh, 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 that they each one will be weighted more uh, as we go along in the semester. And then finally, you're going to have two reflection papers you're going to have to complete. One is at the end of the very first week, and then the other is at the end of the semester. Um, and these are designed to help you reflect back on the material and just sort of deepen your sociological imagination. You can check out uh, 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 on on D2L. Under the, the assignment instructions, you can see the instructions for that, and I'll, and I'll have more to say as we go. Okay, so let's keep going down here. Um, I expect you to turn assignments in on time. If something happens, let me know, and we'll, we'll work to figure it out. Don't assume that I'll, I'll accept it just because it's late. 
Um, I will assess these on a case by case basis. Uh, but I also don't want you to sort of stress yourself out um, and just not turn something in because you're going to turn it in a, a little bit late. We'll, we'll work together to make sure that you get the things in that need to be that need to be in. This is an online class and that means you're going to have to engage maybe a little bit differently. Um, but I expect full engagement. I expect conversations, discussions, uh, uh, um, even debate and argument amongst one another in a respectful fashion. So, I, so, so I've built the whole course to, to allow us to do that. Um, and so you should uh, uh, be, be prepared to, to do that. Be prepared to do the readings, watch the videos and understand the material, and then have these kinds of conversations. That's going to be the critical way you're going to learn and, and sort of grow during the course of the semester. So you can see that uh, in the course expectations, uh, that that's what I'm asking you to do. Uh, do the readings, uh, participate in the, the discussions and activities, um, and be respectful of one another as we go. And also communicate with me anything as it, as it arises. As soon as there's a problem, let me know so that, that we can resolve it as quickly uh, as possible. Uh, academic honesty, don't cheat. Um, I think you guys know that already. I don't expect this to be a problem, but do know uh, uh, that, that, that that expectation is there and will be enforced if it, if it has to be. Um, anyone with a disability, just let me know uh, how we can accommodate you and we'll work there. I've tried to make this, this course as, as accommodating as possible. There's a variety of resources you may need to tap into as a student at some point, um, and I've listed all of these there. Uh, please take a look at this. Um, if you find yourself uh, uh, needing food, if you find yourself uh, needing counseling, if you find yourself uh, 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 sort of sitting up in your, your, your room all the time and not, not getting activities, take a look at this. If you need help with classwork, we have an academic success center that can help you with that. We have a writing center to help you with your writing. So please make use of all of these resources and I'll put links on the D2L page as well. Here you can see that the last thing we'll talk about is the course schedule. It's laid out here uh, for you and it's laid out on the D2L webpage in the module format exactly as it is here. Um, so you, the same information that is here is replicated in the, in the D2L mod, uh, page in the course content. Um, so take a look at that. Make sure you understand where things are. Uh, make sure you understand what's expected of you each week. Um, click on that module for the week and, and we'll get going from there. Let me know what questions you have, how I can be of help to you as we get going. Um, and I'm looking forward to, to engaging with you virtually this semester. All right, take care.